people welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in in this video i'll be showing you a full face makeover which is beginner friendly it is actually a continuation of a previous video which i'll be sharing the link in this video and also i've got like a glimpse from that video in this video as well stay tuned thank you picking up from where we stopped now so i've done my eyes like you can see from the previous video so now i've got my black opal foundation stick in the shade topaz there are different shades and you can have a look online for those shades black opal is a very good foundation if you want good coverage and you don't want to spend too much on foundation and um, the only con is that it's it gets really oily especially if you've got a very very oily skin so you probably need a very good primer if that's the case and also it's quite transferable and um, there i've just applied my mac foundation so in the previous video i showed you that i'm a mac um, studio fix nc50 and that's what i've just applied i'm very much used to um mixing colors so um which is what i've done there <clears throat> so i like to apply a bit of foundation around my neck because then um, you don't want to have like a coke and fanta kind of disparity so it's something i'm used to apply under your eyes as well and also i've got my forehead there so about max studio fix i got this foundation when it was on sale last year last year december as well as the um, mac fix plus so like i say every time you have to be able to blend your foundation blend your products in properly because the problem is if you don't blend as much as you should do um you will have some um ashy lines if you get what i mean so it is very important so next i'm going to be applying my concealer it's the la girl concealer in the shade fawn i will be putting a list of everything that i've used in this video in the description box for you <clears throat> and because i didn't want something too extra vegans i want something that would pass for an everyday look um, I've only applied just the bits. If I wanted it to look very dramatic and party party ish, I would have applied more. So right there is my primer water. So I got that from Primark a while ago. I've had it for a while now. So I normally don't use it on my face directly. Um, I use it in, on my beauty blender just to soak it up. So if you want to apply your foundation or your concealer under your eyes and you want to have like a dewy finish it's good to go with damp brush or damp beauty blender beauty sponge that way you will achieve a dewy finish so but if you want to achieve a, a matte finish because you've got an oily skin or for whatever reason you want to look matte it's best you go with dry brushes and dry sponge sponges so what I've applied before now was the um, um, LA, LA Girl Concealer in shade Deep Cocoa, I believe. And I'm just blending everything in now. So, and if you can see what I'm doing, I've made, I've been able to cut a crease. What some people do is they put a tape under their eye just to get that um, sharp cut crease around there. But this is a method that I use. I think it's an hack, a hack method. It really does work. So using this flat surface of the sponge, you just walk your way up and use the eyeliner, your eyeliner as a guide to go up that way. So that way you will achieve a cut eye and you will it will appear as if you've used a tape or something while applying your eye shadow even though you haven't so that's another thing to take off note of there 
and I'm just blending in, keep blending. It's very important. So I keep saying to people, so if you give two people the same product, they might achieve different results depending on their blending power. So you have to try to get rid of that ashy kind of look or cakey kind of look by making sure you blend well. So there I've got my Real Technique brush. So this brush comes in a set. It's a set of four brushes with one beauty blender and it's for $19.99. You can get it from super drug or from boot so it's a foundation brush so i've just used it around um the concealer so that's another real technique brush right there so normally i would use my sasha buttercup or my um benign powder in topaz to to set my under eye but like i said i don't want something too dramatic so i'm just applying my mac um fix my mac fix powder in shade nc50 and um, i'm just going up the bridge of my nose just to highlight the bridge of my nose as well as my nasal cleft and my forehead So the importance of setting your under eye with a concealer and making sure you set it with a powder cannot be over emphasized especially if you've got black under eyes or bags so there i've got my sleek contour kit i'm using the dark part the darkest part to um contour my face um before then you can see that i used the deep cocoa LA, la girl concealer but um you'd at least see it because that shade is now almost my color i've grown darker compared to when i purchased it but the powder would do justice and that's just me trying to get my nasal my nasal bridge trying to get it all sharpened up you want that pencil paper cut kind of nose so if you want if you have one you can use a slimmer brush and that way you can get what you're doing more properly but i am used to the kind of brushes i have i believe i don't have to have all the brushes in the world i can make do with the ones i have depending on how i hold them and depending on how i maximize them i don't i, I keep saying to people you don't have to rob a bank to achieve a good look with the few you've got you can just improvise here and there so um i'm just still applying the dark um contour contour powder on my nasal bridge so it depends on how sharp you want it to be or the intensity you want to achieve you can you can keep going if you want so i feel like i've had enough um enough for that nose so i've stopped right there but if you want something a bit more dramatic you can go on so at some point you will realize that i made made a mistake with my um highlighter so what i say to people which i'll say here real quick is that it's okay to make mistakes they're bound to happen they're there for you to make it depends on how you correct it that is what matters so um for the uh, glitter sorry for the highlighter what i normally do as a routine is spray my mac fix plus on my um the same brush i used to um contour my face and i will then apply it on the bronzer or on the highlighter and that way it gives it an extra pop and i was saying in the previous video that this mac fix plus spray is the best thing that has happened to my routine my makeup routine it is very good i use it before during and after my makeup and it gives you this very dewy finish and you will love it dewy glowy but not oily if you get what i mean so the highlighter i used before now was from the sleek palette and i've just used one from the revolution soft one now i will make a list at the in the description box so you don't worry so you will see the mistake i was talking about right there so if you make any error say you are applying your um, highlighter or your eyeshadow 
or something and you realize you've gone more than you should have or you've gone beyond the boundary you planned to go just pick up your powder and pick up your powder brush or your powder buffer and just go around that area with the powder that is your color the powder that that is your own color and keep going and you will realize that with time it's gonna blend it will blend like the mistake never happened then you can then make corrections so I got that brush from Superdrug. I believe it's a buff, buffer brush, if I remember well. So I realized at some point that that brush was wet. So I've got my son in the room there with me. So I think he's done something with that brush. Bless him. So I've had to change the brush. <coughs> So that's another brush from the set I got from Real Technique. That's the fourth brush actually. I used one for my eyeshadow and three in this video. So I've just popped the light on because I realized it was getting too dark and I wasn't sure I was seeing what I was doing proper. So I've just turned the light on. So what I'm doing now is I'm just blending, 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 blending. I don't want any ash lines. I don't want anything that would look tacky. Just blend it and make it look like um, you did them all together. <coughs> Can start coughing. Because I've been able to correct the mistake, what I'm doing now is to apply more contour powder so that I've done. So there I've got my bronzer. That This bronzer is very sharp. <clears throat> it's a bronzer I got from, um, I think I got it from Boots or Superdrug. It's the Revolution bronzer i'll put a link in the description box don't worry it is very very sharp <coughs> i could have applied this bronzer on my cheekbone but i didn't want something so dramatic i feel like i've had enough so that's why i've left it just on my nasal bridge and on my um nasal cleft area and on my cupid i believe we call that area cupid <laughs> so there i'm going to be doing my lips and i've got that pencil i believe it's from Rimmel, and i'm just applying that pencil so i plan to go red on my lips but it will be an ombre red but i've chosen to use the red pencil anyway because it is very important that you get in the culture of using liner before your lippy or your or your lip gloss excuse me that's just me blending my lip lipstick with um my finger i prefer to use my finger i find it more natural to do I, I really do prefer it. Some people use brush, lip brush, but I'm fine with that one. So I've only just remembered that I haven't used my blush. And that blush, I believe, is from Rimmel. I will get the shade and I will put it in the description box as well. And that's the blush I'm applying there. So I would advise that you use your blush in a circular motion as well as your contour powder. That way it's going to get into your skin properly. Because when you look at the anatomy of the skin, it's actually the way the skin is, it's in a circular form. So um, it's better you go upward and circular with your blush, with your contour kit, anything you use on your cheekbone. I didn't want anything too dramatic or anything too much more, 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 anything more than this. So I haven't used any um, lashes. So I haven't put any lashes on. Also, I haven't um, put more glow than I normally would. So that's my um, 
brush there so it's a brush i normally use for my eyebrow so if you watch the eyebrow beginner friendly tutorial you will find that i use that brush in that video as well so what i'm using it for my leaves is just to highlight uh, my lip so if you want to get a popping very chic stylish kind of lip it's better that you highlight your lips darling stop leaving extra lipstick outside of your lip perimeter it's not very nice <clears throat> so just get your foundation or your concealer something that is your color or just one shade lighter and put it on your brush and then apply along the perimeter so right there i've got that mac um I, I believe it's a lip liner i got it from tk max ages ago i believe last year so um i'm just applying it it's a whiny kind of color so um just to get that ombre look i think i should have left it at this but i went more just to get a bit more intensity so i can i believe you can see that that's me just trying to achieve my um extra um, extra ombre look i believe another reason some people use stick which we now tend to copy for their lipstick i mean not stick brush for their lipstick or for their um liner lip liner is because they are they are professional makeup artists and they get so many clients so imagine if they use the same stick on my lip and that person's lip and the other person's lip then it's not hygienic anymore so i believe that's why they normally go in with a stick you know to apply on every person's um lip and that way they can wash the stick after um application but if it's your personal product or it's your personal thing i don't know why you shouldn't go directly if you know what you're doing so at this point i realized i'd gone a bit more than i planned on my um ombre or my wine or burgundy lip liner so <clears throat> what i did there was i picked an extra lip stain and put on my finger on my lip sorry to just to apply just to make sure i've still got the red at the middle and this was when i realized i've gone too much on the lip liner but i was able to correct it somehow There we go so um and i think that was pretty much it the only thing i forgot to do that i would normally do on a good day is spray my face with a mac fix plus i cannot over emphasize the importance you will you will, you will really love it i was so skeptical buying it because some people said it wasn't for oily skin i haven't got like a bad bad kind of oily skin i've just got a combination skin and i believe i've been fine with it i think i love it even at the end of the day i normally still like what i look like or like before so that's the finished look i'm just going to be letting my hair down getting dressed and i will then come back so that's me just taking a few pictures and thank you so much for watching